Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to order data in a LibreOffice spreadsheet. So if I open up this folder, inside this folder I've got this spreadsheet, it's just called Data01. And inside of here, I've just made up some data. So let's just zoom in a little bit. We've got a date column, we've got a staff name, and we've got a commission. How much they got paid commission on a particular day. Seems like James did pretty well on this day, right? This is just made up data. Now, what we want to do is order this data based on uh, either ascending or descending. So if I click on letter A here, that will highlight this whole column. And then I can click on this option here, ascending or descending. So if I click descending and then select extend selection, it's going to put that in reverse date order. So the 31st of the first is at the top. And now the first of the first is at the bottom, you see. So if I click up on this letter A again and click sort ascending, it's going to put the most recent at the top. So I'll click extend selection here. And now it's back to its original format, right? The first, the first, and it's got the 30 pan here. And here's that one with a large amount here. Now, just to make sure the spreadsheet is being done correctly, just to test it, we can actually highlight a row. So let's take this row of data and make it yellow. Let's take this one here. Well, actually, let's take uh, this large one here. And let's make that one like a green color. This is only for visual reference. Yeah? I'm not doing this for any other reason. Just to check that actually what we're expecting is happening. So let's make that a blue color. We'll just do three of them, right? So if I click on staff name here. And I'll click on uh, sort ascending. And then I'll click extend selection. Now it's put all of the G's at the top. So G's is the most... Re the, the, uh, the first letter that it can find in the alphabet, right? Is G, then you've got J's, then M's, and then P's uh, here. So you can see, and you can see these rows that we highlighted, we can see that they're matching up correctly. All three of them on the row are matching correctly. I just did that to make sure the data is in sync, right? It's not doing anything strange. We can click on commission and we can click on sort ascending. So when we click extend selection, it's gonna extend and select the rest of the data here and then order it by commission, but also match the rows of information. This is why I highlighted them here. So when I click extend selection here, it's gonna match everything and it's gonna put them the most, uh, the smallest amount at the top and the largest amount at the bottom. So if we wanted to reverse that and do the largest amount at the top, we'll click here and then we'll click sort descending and then click extend selection. And now we've got the largest at the top and the smallest value at the bottom. If we want to set our spreadsheet back to its original state, what I would advise you to do is probably make a copy of this spreadsheet, right? So you have your original data here. In this spreadsheet, you have your original data. And if, you, if you've got a column like date and uh, the original data was in date order, then you can just click here and go order ascending and click extend selection. And then it will be really, this spreadsheet is back to its original data, right? The way it was. But if you don't have uh, something that's in some sort of chronological order, like date or a reference ID or something like that, then I'd advise you make a backup copy of your spreadsheet first, and then you can perform these uh, ascending and descending uh, functions here. So if I click, um, let's just highlight this one here. Let's get rid of those colors. Let's say no fill. So we're back to our original spreadsheet like this. And sometimes I use this sort of technique when I want to analyze information, right? So you can imagine you might have a date here and then you might, maybe this represents the first of every month. So you have the first of the first, this one will be the first of the second, the first of the third, and you might have um, the total amount that you've paid in wages to each staff member. And then you can write the amounts here and then you can work out at the end of the year, how much have you paid certain people in your staff, uh, a grand total of their wages or something like this. Or how much commissions have you received? These are ones that have been, this is a made up spreadsheet, but these are commissions that you've paid out. You could easily create a spreadsheet if you're running some sort of affiliate campaigns. You could you could make a spreadsheet to show how much revenue have you generated that's coming into your business uh, using a spreadsheet like this. So there's a few different case examples, but it's really the objective of this tutorial was just to show you how to um, order by ascending and descending. So remember when you click on the letter B, C or A, whichever one you click on, when you, you, when you want to uh, use the ascending or descending, make sure you click the extend selection, then it will do this correctly. If you do current only, the data will stay the same. Can you see? And can you see it's Greg up here and then staff name is down here. That's kind of an error, right? We don't want that. So if we do control Z to undo 
And if we do that same thing here, make sure you click extend selection, then the titles will stay static at the top and everything else underneath will get ordered correctly on the row as well. Okay, so let's click on date. Let's click here. Let's extend the selection. We've got our spreadsheet back to its original format. Let's click the save button. Let's close this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.